Okay, we're taking a look at the uh, pick six for um, Saturday, June 13th at Churchill Downs. This is an awesome race car today, which is going to include Einstein running for the, uh, the triple, turf, dirt, poly, uh, grade one win in one year. Starting off with race six, you're on your own here. This is a two-year-old Philly maiden race, very difficult race. What I'm going to do is, being that it's the first leg, I'm going to watch the pools. I'm going to see who's getting bet early and uh, what the final odds are based on the morning line. If I got a horse that's 9 to 1 and he's 1 to 9 uh, the first 15 minutes or something like that, I'm looking for underlays, overlays to see who I'm going to put into that particular part of my bet. So we'll, we'll, we'll jump into race 7. Race 6 is just too hard to come up with anything. Um, now again, my tickets are cheap, so you know I don't play a lot of money on the pick sixes unless I go in with a group. But in race seven, um, we're gonna get a shot to see Advice, who's got a turf pedigree, first time on on the on the turf, coming off of his best performances <coughs> from the poly track. So I'm gonna throw him in there. He's gonna be dropping down nine pounds, and I'm gonna go to El Crespo, who ran a pretty good closing performance in his race the last time out against the uh, horse giant oak who is liked by a lot of people um, if I had to look at some other horses in here it'd be the 237 uh, victory gallop a uh, then this horse no inflation Thomas Proctor went in at 36 percent and Bruce and Autumn uh, but for me in this race it's going to be advice and El Crespo but uh, the 237 they you know, if I actually bet the race, I'll probably play a key with those horses behind. Race 8, this is the uh, Northern Dancer, mile on the 16th. Another uh, good competitive field. Um, this is a race where it uh, looks like um, Warriors Reward it has, it has the most class here. But there's a couple of horses who are on the improve. And um, it's a difficult race to handicap. I mean, this could be a race to go deep. Um, I'm taking a different angle here. I'm actually going to solo the big favorite, Warriors Reward, for for budget purposes. And if you look back at his last start, uh, he beat he um, beat Munnings, who was one of the horses that won on the Belmont card last week. It was a pretty impressive victory, and we had Munnings on our ticket. Um, I've been losing money on this horse, Dumar, all year. One of these times, he's going to show up and actually run a big race. Uh, you know, I don't know what to say, but uh, if I had to pick other horses in this race, it would be Warriors Reward on top of Successful Dan and Dumar, and then maybe worth an exact to play. Okay, race nine, we're looking at a uh, the, the grade two on the turf, mile and eighth for the Phillies. This race, you're going to have to go kind of deep, another very, very, very competitive field, and um, I actually have two, four horses I like here. Um, and those horses include the two, four, three, six. Distinctive Dixie is going to be a good price because it seems like the horse has been running against a little less competition. However, uh, first, second, first, first, second, 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 this is how the horse runs. So I think that um, she's going to be just competitive. I think she's going to give, give, give you a run for your money. So the two should be on the ticket. Um, the big speed figure last time out is the Silver Charm, Kelvin Burrell horse, ran a 108. I'd expect to look for that horse to maybe regress a little bit, but definitely could belong on, on the ticket. Um, then we come to Santa Teresita, who is another competitive filly that has earned almost a half a million bucks. Uh, this is a lemon drop kid, fit mare, uh, so I do like her. And then the six, Temple Street, needs a pace. If she, that, this filly gets a good pace, she'll be running late. So um, something to look out for. Another horse that has a possible shot is the eight, Swift Temper. So this is the race that I'm going deep. And uh, two, four, three, six, and possibly the eight as well, uh, depending on what happens. Now in the Einstein race, I, I love Einstein, and I usually solo him in all my pick sixes. And based on budgets today, Einstein's going to be another solo. I don't have a choice. I'm rooting for him. I want to see him win. So, so Einstein's a solo in that race for me. But I think he's going to have a tough time with uh, the eight. Finally made it. Who's going to be a square price and he's a front runner. 
So if if finally made it gets out there on an uncontested lead and is able to dictate his own pace, he's dangerous in my opinion. So I would uh, maybe put something together with Einstein and finally made it. Uh, finally made it actually finished in front of Einstein in the dawn handicap um, earlier this year. So, um, he, he looks like he's going to be a square price and a good horse. And then this alphabet soup horse. I always give the alphabet soups always get me too because these horses step up and win it always at a big price. Now, um, if it's an off track, you got to throw Macho again in there. Loves running on slop or the off track. In fact, if it's an off track, he might even be my solo in that race. And then coming to race 11, you know, by the time I get here, I'm out of money. So it's usually a solo in the final leg of the pick six but for me today um, I went with the 710 hot cha-cha and uh, pry Tanya so those are the those are the two horses I got there 710 so if you look at my ticket um, I'll go back through the numbers real quick race six you're on your own race seven I went with the uh, advice and El Crespo Race eight, I am soloing Warriors Reward. Race nine, I went deep there with uh, Distinctive Dixie, Santa Teresita, Temple Street, and Swift Temper. So that's my race where I'm looking for one of the long shots to come in. I got a solo Einstein because I don't have enough money. And uh, when we come to the last race, I had the 710, which is um, Pritania and Hot Cha Cha. So, depending upon what you do in the first leg, my ticket's looking like it's going to be two times one, two, three, four, five. If you solo in leg one, it's a $40 ticket. So, uh, wish you well i think i got some good picks in there um you know my my, my advice al crespo and then you got to go deep in race eight and that's a 40 dollar ticket so you ain't gonna get burnt too much but you got to have some guts and solo leg one um good luck to all the race fans and go einstein